Here we go. Do we get it? I think we got it because it's Spell Shield and Deny. Need a moment. And there it is. Attack it for 30. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at this. Look at this board just fill up with all these. <laughs> And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Talia Dawn and Dusk. Alright, we got kind of a, more of a meme tier deck to kind of finish out the day. Um, but we'll, we'll still be playing it in ranked, you know, having some having some fun with it. But this is going to be a combo-oriented deck built around Talia. Talia is the only champion. So we need to play some landmarks, level up Talia. Because when you have level up Talia, you know how it has this ability. As long as you have... Or I guess, it, no, you don't even have to have a landmark anymore, but just does two to the blocker three times if it's dead or gone, deal two to the enemy nexus instead. So if they if they don't block Talia, they take six damage from this ability and then plus another four damage from, you know, Talia. So what we want is we want to level up Talia and we want them not to block it. So how do we, how do we accomplish that? Well, we're going to be playing Ghost. Ghost will give an ally elusive. So if we level up Talia, let's go ahead and ghost it, give it elusive. That's still 10 damage. That's a lot of damage, but you have 20 life in Legends of Runeterra. So 10's not quite enough. So let's go ahead and combine that with Dawn and Dusk, summon two exact copies of an ally. So what our plan here is the, the main combo, level up Talia, ghost the Talia to give it elusive, and then Dawn and Dusk make two other elusive Talias. Now you have three elusive Talias that are all attacking for 10 coming on in there. That's pretty good. <laughs> so that's that's the goal. That's the deck. That's the combo of our deck. Um, so that's what our yeah. That's what everything is built around. We're gonna have a couple ride of callings to help draw those Talias. Um, let's see. We'll also have Soothsayer be able to give Talia a spell shield to be able to help that combo happen. And then you know we just kind of have a variety of different landmarks and you know good Ionia and Sharima cards. All right. So let's get to it. Let's go ahead and go play our five games in ranked. And we're going to go try some <laughs> Talia Dawn and Dusk combo up at the top of Master's rank. <laughs> we're way up there now with 185 points. Yeah, we're doing some meme tier stuff with that. Yeah, if we can pull this off, that'll be very, very enjoyable. But it, unlikely we pull it off, but we'll see. All right, I guess we have to send these back. We need to figure out some way to deal with a Teemo. I still want to keep the Salt Spire to go along with Talia, right? We want to keep Talia. We want to have a really good target for Talia. Treasure Seeker. Okay, are you prepared for... A hibernating rock bear. Oh, come on. <laughs> Timo always gets that top card, That's which is so perfect. So now round two, they, they're leveled up their Setuani also. Okay. Well, not looking great. Want to get this countdown going and the uh, Talia level up going. Let's get on in there. So get some damage across. It should be troll chanting or whatever. No, I did not this this time, Nans. No, I was I was just a little short of the top 700. Since then, you know, now we've been winning a lot more, and I would be qualified since then. But no, I didn't actually get in the tournament, unfortunately. Just a little short. Can you improve perfection? 
So we need one more landmark to level up Talia. Which we can do with help of the Rock Hopper. Oh no, I won't have the room for Rock Hopper. Hmm. Hardcastle. Don't have, don't have the room to. I really want to play another landmark and make this, you know, five out of five because it's such a big difference whether you're just attacking with a generic three five or this whole ability. But I don't have the room. Because I know they're going to use frostbite spells, so like it doesn't hurt. See, it wouldn't hurt me to. You can play like Waking Sands first before attacking. But okay, they didn't actually use Frostbite spells. Quite surprised they didn't do that on the Green Glade duo. They would have just killed me if they would have done it on the Green Glade duo. So they already frostbit the one time, they don't get to frostbite again. See what we can do. It's kind of my, my best attack. Obviously, they play lots and lots of protection, or yeah, like protection for them, so like removal, that kind of stuff. So, not likely that this works, but this is the best that I got. If only we could have, you know, played the Waking Sands as well, but that's not how it works. Looks like they got me. They had a perfect hand. Round one Teemo, draw puff cap on two, and then ballistic bot on three with Teemo hitting, and therefore we they had leveled up Sejuani on round five. You know, this is the perfect hand. So good game. Oh no, we got Sejuani again. Sejuani. 
Wani can be very problematic, as we saw. Keeping all one, two mana cards. The... How are these curators in here? I don't know if they're that useful, but we'll kind of see. We we'll draw the card around earlier. Okay. So if you want to gameplay, of course, can be pretty aggressive, like with stuff early, and so I like having these blockers. Because of Make It Rain, I don't want to play Rock Hopper after Treasure Seeker with Make It Rain being a thing. Step lightly. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've seen all the new cards, but you'll have to be a little bit more specific than just saying the new one mana card. I don't, I don't know really what that card is. Um, there are definitely some good Bandle City cards. I, I'm really liking just how Bandle City is looking. This beyond the Bandlewood region just... Um, okay, I, I think you're probably talking about Yordle Squire. Create a Tiny Spear or a Tiny Shield in hand, because that, that one, one drop looks awesome. Always one landmark short, aren't I? Alright, so we have summoned four landmarks, we'll get the Salt Spire bonus. Yes, there's Dawn and Dusk. Okay, we have our combo for next round. We'll see if they have, like, the, the five mana removal spell, but, oh, they just have said 20. You're not fun, Sejuani. You're not fun. I do not enjoy your presence. My journey won't end until I'm through weaving it. Born for conquest. Did have it all. Talia goes dawn and dusk. Okay, so my plan another dawn and dusk? Let's see what they do. My plan is to make elusive Grumpy Rock Bear Dawn and Dusk. I kind of hope they spend some more mana first. There we go. Hopefully they don't have um, three sisters. If they have that, you know, that's unfortunate. But if they don't, can we steal this game? 27 elusive attack? Ghost Dawn and Dusk combo. Looks like we're doing it. Goes Dawn and Dusk combo. Beating Gangplank Sejuani and Master's Rank? No. Now we lose to Grumpy Rock Bears. Nobody loses to Grumpy Rock Bears. Wow. We gotta win. One and one. Uh oh, Siver action. 
It's going to be more difficult to steal games against with how fast they are. I like Duo into Faithful. I'll ship that back. Keep the Preservarium. They have all like the vulnerable stuff though. They have like Merciless Hunters. So at least we get that underneath the, the you know, the 3 1. Wow. Surprise, kind of surprised they didn't challenge there. A little surprised they didn't challenge. So we have a lot of ghosts. We figured out why they didn't challenge. Alright, get some extra cards. Look for some Talias. Some grumpy rock bears. I think if we were playing Twisted Fate, <laughs> just red card this. That'd be nice. That's right. Run! Okay, how are we doing? Four out of five for Talia. Gonna be five out of five. Don't have Dawn and Dusk mana, obviously. But we could ghost and get ten damage across. I don't have deny mana either. They've already played one sharp sight, so that means they probably don't have another. Okay. So now we gotta just survive. Oh, surviving is gonna be a lot more difficult now. Yeah, this this is gotta be game, right? Uh, I needed four mana for that deny. Cause they yeah, that's, that's like 8 damage right there, and they challenge, challenge these things. Just don't even challenge. Yeah, because that's just 8, then 8. That's a good play. GG, rally. GG. Go. 
Zillion Echo usually does a good job of doing small amounts of damage to stuff. I want to try to find more landmarks. I want to find more of these, like, grumpy rock bear type cards. Hibernating rock bear. Get that countdown started. So I, I would think, I would kind of recommend probably taking out, you know, if you want to make the deck better, the the Clockwork Curators, the Greenglade Duos, Soothsayers, all of those, you know, should probably just be like, you know, Young Witch, Merciless Hunter, and just Im improve the deck. Um... Could also have... Some Twin Disciplines probably in here somewhere. That's will keep your landmarks, right? Like, so that's six That's six followers between... There's two Curator, two Duo, two Soothsayer. They can be three Young Witch, three Merciless Hunter, but... It's kind of nice doing something a little different, but... It's just... Just not going to be as good as the stuff that's, that's not fair. Because as you see, these these curators have frequently just been two mana two twos. Um, I guess I can't open that. Yeah, give it a try. Too bad. We traded two cards, Ghost, Dawn, and Dusk, for two cards, two Scrying Sands. So, I've been looking at you and get a good amount of damage in. Only three landmarks so far. Basically, I've been, I've been kind of impressed with, like, we know that Ghost is good, like, if you think about, like, just auction decks, like, you know, like, you have Auction Talia, Ghost, you know, and you have a good deck there. I've been kind of impressed with the Dawn and Dusk, though, also, so I could see, like, one or two copies of Dawn and Dusk in, like, an Auction Talia deck. Working out. Yeah, this this deck went really hard on the combo, and not so much on. You know, it wasn't it wasn't built to win the most games as possible. It was built to, to do Talia, Dawn and Dusk. That's the name, Talia Dawn and Dusk. Huh, Callista Elise looks like a fearsome deck. Okay, so this is pretty tough. So I'm, I'm definitely mulliganing those. <clears throat> the Preservarium is necessary to help level up Talia, but if they're going to be like fearsome and like attacking quickly, like we may not have time for Preservarium. So this is tough, but I think I have to keep it and hope for the best. All right, cool. Rock Hopper gives me fearsome blocker and that. Yeah, I mean, it could be They Who Endure. I just I haven't seen They Who Endure in a super long time. 
But I suppose it's possible it could be the hunter. So I like that we have the Roiling Sands after the Aristocrats. Never mind. Not after the Aristocrats. Greenglade Duo plus Dawn of Dust is kind of like the backup combo that we have. That's also another very good combo. Like, because the, the Greenglade Duos will see the other ones and they'll grow. Board space. I feel like I should be denying that. Basically, the main question is, are we going to try to win next round? And I think it might... Oh, I don't have Ghost. Right. So, I'm not going to really be able to do that. So. All rocks erode eventually. Not leveled up Callista yet. Not yet. Iceborne Spiders Legacy. Iceborne Legacy Spiders deck. Well, that's pretty cool. I can't attack, of course, because levels of Callista. I guess I could, but it doesn't do any damage to them. I mean, it does like four damage, I guess. Really, it's just do we find ghosts right now, right? Like, that's, that's like the whole thing, it's just looking for ghosts. Just looking for a ghost. There it is. Kill a 5 1. Uh, Alright, now we got the board spot. Okay, we'll also have, we'll have deny protection. 
Here we go. We're gonna Ghost Talia, Dawn and Dust den with Deny Protection. Here we go. Do we get it? I think we got it because it's Spell Shield and Deny. Need a moment. And there it is. Attack it for 30. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at this. Look at this board just fill up with all these. <laughs> They got their Iceborne legacies on their spiders. We found our ghost for 30 Talia damage. <laughs> the dream. We should do this more often. So yeah, Talia plus Dawn and Dusk plus Ghost. I think there's something there. You know, we just kind of had. You know, we we had like a lot of like cards that that weren't very good, and that's just you know that that's all right. That that happens. That was kind of focused on, you know, like, I guess, like, the Soothsayer looked kind of nice there that last time, but, you know, like, these cards, like, the Green Glade Duo, the Curator, the Soothsayer, that kind of stuff. I could see going, I know you want to find Talia, but I kind of feel like you maybe you don't need, like, the Ride of Callings to do it. You know, you have, like, this extra, you have the card draw with the Preservariums and stuff, and I, I think you'll just kind of find them. So I could definitely see this kind of, like, being, like, an action Talia deck that we... That we've seen like some action Talia usually with Targon, but I could see doing it with Ionia and having Dawn and Dusk and you know basically action because that gives you another card that puts out a landmark. Um, the the problem with action though, because you know you could you could have that and the the three drop that also makes the Warlord's Palace. The problem with those cards, the va Vagabond, they they get you more landmarks for Talia. But think about your board space. Your board space is a problem. You can't have too much on there like those those action those warlords palaces they can uh really be on the board for a long time and take up a board spot for a long time so that's always a possibility but i could see this being kind of competitive if, you know like with with action talia and stuff like that to get get a bunch of landmarks uh that you know kind of that way and then play with more of like your twin disciplines and everything like that because then because that just also gives you the ability to you know, like twin discipline, shape stone, you know, whatever, and ghost and dawn and dusk, that thing, right? So I, I could definitely see um, just kind of putting in some dawn and dusks in that style of deck being uh, a very good way to finish out games. All right, but that was cool. We got to do the combo a couple of times. That's Talia, Dawn, and Dusk. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And as always, please leave those comments and let me know what you think of this combo. We got other cool ideas to do with uh, to do Ghost and Dawn and Dusk combo. Feel free to put them in the chat or anything like that. Hopefully y'all enjoy the deck. But as always, that's going to be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.